This section addresses the aims of data visualization. Recall our schematic of the role of visual communication in the full analytical process, from data gathering to decision making. In particular, we're concerned with how well individuals can understand visual representations of data. As a visualization designer, your responsibility will be to maximize how quickly and accurately people decode information from graphics. In order to achieve this, data visualization research has really focused in on two areas. First is the concept of pre-attentive cognition. Pre-attentive cognition, or pre-attentive processing, is the effort that your brain automatically puts forth to understand the world around you. For example, if I asked you how many threes are there in the string of numbers, you would have to manually go through reading the numbers, and this would be an error-prone process as well as a time-consuming one. However, if we leverage a pre-attentive attribute such as color that your brain will automatically process, it becomes very simple for your brain to distinguish effortlessly the difference between the threes and the rest of the numbers here. As such, people working in data visualization have sought to maximize instances of using pre-attentive processing. The second aim of data visualization has sought to maximize the accuracy with which people interpret your visualizations. Here you can see a figure from Cleveland and McGill's graphical perception study in which they sought to distinguish how well people could interpret differences in angle versus differences in position. The same data is encoded both in the pie chart and in the bar chart. If you were attempting to distinguish between the areas of the segments of the pie chart, it would prove more difficult than distinguishing the heights of the bars. For example, segments A, B, and C of the pie chart appear nearly identical, while those differences are easily distinguished in the bar chart. The conclusion of this study was that encoding information with position, such as the heights of bars, allowed people to more accurately decode the quantitative information underlying the graphic when compared to a pie chart. The second major aim of data visualization was to maximize the accuracy with which people interpreted the values underlying the graphics. While maximizing how quickly and accurately people decode information from graphics has been a major focus area for visualization research, there are a number of shortcomings and presumptions of this approach. In particular, this assumes you have engagement from your users. Ensuring user engagement is obviously a prerequisite to individuals understanding your graphics. Second, these aims of data visualization overlook any potential lack of information individuals may have prior to engaging with your graphics. Third, these axioms don't address how memorable any of your visual content is for users. And fourth, these overlook any sort of emotional connection between the user and the content area. As we move forward in the next chapter, we'll begin to understand not only how storytelling can address a number of shortcomings of current aims of data visualization, but also how it can act as an extension in new ways that visualizations can be developed.